I love it's all changing because the last place I lived in London was in Dalston. And it's like so it's like seven or so years ago now. I remember when a bar opened. Like a bar. And <laughs> that was big news. So yeah, I know, a lot's changing and it's always that's kind of interesting to just see. Yeah, silence on my estate. I feel like pain, it breeds creativity, you know, and I feel like, um, and poverty, I think, that yeah, breeds creativity as well because you, you, you're, you're just, you're just driven just by, just by just being at zero. You know, like, so there's so much talent there in different avenues, but it's just because of where it is, it's, it just takes longer to sprout, you know, but, um, like, if you just dip your head into, like, places like Tottenham, uh, well, there's loads of places like that. But yeah, if you get your head in there, you find so much talent. Like, and they all do it really raw, and not by the book because they don't they don't understand it. They're at their rawest, you know, point. Like, I I love that. I love to be able to see both sides. You know, not to say that I'm like some high class guy now, but now I'm not living on an estate and I'm not going through that kind of trouble. I don't talk like from here. I always always will understand. You know, being there and. Um, it's really important to have that as a human to know that there's, you know, there's a level below that you've come from, so you can always be real. I'm getting a lot of friends asking me about grime and like where it came from, and you know, it's funny though because I've seen the influence in other avenues of music in America. Even a year or so ago, like some, whether they know it or not, but some of the beats they're making just made me think of like beats when I was like 17 or 18 and people messing about on like free loops and stuff like that. I think that grime just plays its position. Like it's just, yeah. it, it just does what it's supposed to do. Like it didn't have to, if, if like every station was playing grime, I probably wouldn't like it anymore. And I'm sure half the fans wouldn't like it anymore because you just feel like it's not, you know, it's not yours anymore. And like East London and these places where grime gets made, it's just like the voice of the youth, you know, kids on their computers, not knowing really how to make a song professionally, but this is raw, this is raw emotion that's going down from the beat to the vocal to the visual, you know, and that's where you find like the truest, like, you know, messages. You know, yeah, that's what that's what's happening with Graham. It's just like the last true voice, which is why well, I never ever want it to go commercial and I don't want it to be what every what these purists always scream at they want it to be, because I don't want it to be that. Yeah.